Hello, my name is Seth Mulder. And my name is Mark Shinsato. And we'd like to welcome you to this Proven Plan training. We just want to give you a very brief background. My name is Seth Mulder. I live in Woodland Hills, Utah, about an hour south of Salt Lake City. I'm not native to this industry of network marketing. Spent most of my time in corporate America, but came here because I saw that I could get something in network marketing that I could never get in corporate America. Freedom, personal freedom, time freedom, and financial freedom. Aloha, my name is Mark Shinsato. I'm just a little local boy from Kailua, Hawaii. Currently, I live in Highland, Utah. Before getting into this industry of network marketing, I worked for corporate America. And the reason I got into network marketing was because I got recruited to go to a company and they changed the rules of the game. They cut my pay and I just wasn't happy. So I, it took me on a journey looking for something that was gonna pay me what I'm worth, pay me while I work super play, and most importantly, give me time to spend with my family. And that's what the industry have done. It's given us, or it's given me, a lifestyle to spend with my family and to really start to enjoy life. Maybe we should start at the beginning. Mark and I have four basic rules that we've learned from mentors along the way. We certainly were not pre-packaged, successful individuals in this industry. Frankly, it was, it was a long, hard road. And I'm so grateful to many of those people along the way in their own ways who taught us. But these are the four rules that we live by and that if you want to ensure success, that you must live by in this industry. Rule number one is no excuses. I had a, a leader once who told me that an excuse is nothing more than a well-planned lie. I mean, there are excuses about why any of us cannot be successful in this industry. Maybe we feel like we're too old. Maybe we feel like we're too young. Uh, maybe we feel like we're not educated enough. Uh, maybe we feel like we have too much education to get involved in the industry. Maybe we feel like we don't know enough of the right people or whatever that might be. Live by this rule. Rule number one, absolutely, positively, no excuses. Rule number two, no suggestions. Now, think of Tiger Woods. What if you were lucky and somehow you knew someone that knew someone that knew someone that knew someone that knew Tiger Woods and he agreed to give you a golf lesson. And so you're standing there with Tiger Woods and he says, I want you to hold the club just like this. And then I want you to raise the club and then swing it like this. Now, would you tell Tiger Woods, hey, Tiger, what about if I hold the club like this and I swing like this? No. I mean, he's the professional and professionals get paid to play the game. So you listen to what he says. Well, no suggestions. In this business, you want to learn how to become a professional and not just an amateur. You want to get paid to play this game or you want to get paid to do this business. So rule number two, no suggestions. Rule number three, no quitting. I love the story in Think and Grow Rich where Napoleon Hill talks about the man who had the gold mine. So he outfitted himself, he capitalized himself, he brought others along the journey with him. Sound familiar? Sound like network marketing maybe? He got things started and they started digging and they dug and dug and dug and dug and dug and they lost the vein. They lost it. They lost what they were looking for. They had it. It was within their grasp. They had almost paid for uh, the outfit and then they lost it and they dug and dug and dug and couldn't find it. So they sold all the equipment. Everybody went home, dejected, off to, uh, to new horizons and new opportunities, right? Next time it'll be better. Well, some of the equipment was sold to, I believe, a surveyor who did his own calculations and he calculated that that vein was still there. So he started to dig and what do you think he found? He found the vein, which turned out historically to be one of the largest gold deposits in Colorado gold history. How far away was that gold vein from where the first guy quit, Mark? Do you remember? Which is a couple of feet. I think it was two or three feet. Rule number three is absolutely no quitting. Anybody who's worth anything in network marketing has felt like quitting. We've all been told no. We'll share some experiences about people telling us no. And, you know, I think we've all felt like quitting. The difference between losers and winners, between professionals and amateurs, between those who make it and those who don't, well, they never quit. Rule number three, no quitting. Rule number four, have fun. People want to be with people that are fun, people that are life of the party. People don't want to be with people, be around people that are boring. So let's just have fun in this business. Let's enjoy it. Why? Because if not, it just becomes a J-O-B. So let's have fun along the way. 
I uh, once heard from a leader who said, if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. Now, that's not to say that there won't be stretching along the way. Mark, have you felt stretched as you've learned to be a professional in this industry? Sure, sure. But it was a journey that makes it all worthwhile. And at the end, if you just keep going and follow the rules, guess what happens? You finally get to have a lifestyle. You finally get to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You finally get to have time and financial freedom.